Hi, my name is Roman Guerrero. I'm a BME pre-med major. I'm a, currently a junior. Um, I'm running for treasurer for Kava um, Bayan. Um, I know it's like a executive position. I know this is my first year, but I'm really passionate about um, being involved in Kava. I joined as a member, and um, currently I'm an intern. Um, I know um, there's so many things that um, ideas that I want to implement, and I know um, being Filipino, I also want to associate with um, people who are not, because it's hard like coming into the club. Um, being different, like, because there's not many of you. Um, I know um, I worked in um, many accounting positions. I was um, supervisor and um, from Tommy Hilfiger, I also worked when I was 16 for a travel agency where I did um, multiple um, taxes returns and stuff. And so I'm very good with numbers. Um, I'm also, I also took a lot of math, so I'm very good at that. I'm also um, good at balancing my schedule. And on top of that, I'm kind of OCD, so I like to be organized and stuff. So um, it's very, very well if, um, for running for treasurer because I feel you need Amen. to know everything that's going on and have it all well categorized. And yeah, thank you. Thank you. Miguel Pinaranda, I am a biosci major, second year, and I served this year as your current coalition liaison. Uh, this past year, I've learned a lot about myself, about how, what it is to be a board member, what Kalabine is, what, what it really means to be passionate about Kalba. And I've also learned, I've also grown a lot as myself individually. I chose to run for treasurer because I feel like it's a position that I've grown to take up next year. Um, that's mainly because as treasurer, I feel like I would be taking a, a very supportive role, taking control of um, um, managing funds, managing college funds, making sure that there's adequate funding for all the programs, making sure that. All the program, all the program, all next year's programming has an equal and um, valid chance of happening. And I feel that my experience on board, especially with um, handling logistics and plan, planning, the planning the budget for summit, um, working with Alianza different boards, uh, I have a lot of experience working with boards, working with event planning, working with programs, of course, and just overall board experience. And I feel that treasure will be. My best, my best way, the best way I can really give back to Kava and um, <coughs> Treasure would be the best way I can give back to Kava and the position for me next year. If elected um, Treasure, I um, want to work with Alianza. I want to do like um, co fundraising things, like not just because to raise money for Kava, but to get to know the other people in other um, clubs that we're um, alliance with, like to get to know other members, um, branch out, and like help um, our um, general members become leaders because I think that's what it has taught me. Like, Kaba has made me a leader. Like, you guys, I have grown so much because of it. And not only that, but I want to, like, raise money to give back to the members, like, um, give them food or, like, I want to do, like, a thing where once a month or so or once a quarter where we learn a recipe of, like, from the Philippines and everybody can get involved and just cooperate and um, have a good time. Um, also, I was thinking of doing, like, Games, activities where people could just work together. Oh. Uh, aside from more fundraising next year, I would definitely try and implement um, sort of sponsorship package or some sort of um, business-like connections with local businesses and other um, networks around the, um, the area. I want to create some sort of coupon book or sp um, discount card or something for college general members. I feel like a lot of the other Alianza orgs have really capitalized on that. And it would be a good, um, it would definitely benefit Kawa Bayan and just overall raise uh, resources and more funds in different ways than the past years. Okay, to be an exec to me means um, being a role model not only to your appointees but also to all the general members that you interact with. Um, definitely, uh, I would definitely take, seri um, take seriously my relationship with my appointees. Because um, I'm, I'm the exec that they're looking forward, I'm looking up to, and not not just my position, but overall as, as an exec, I'm someone that that they look up to, and I've been I've been through that, I've been there, I've been at that, I've been at that first year board experience. Um, also, it means being at not at the center of Kaba, but definitely at the forefront, being the one of the people who just knows Kaba and definitely can represent and represent Kaba every day and all the time. I think um, being in a position is where um, you're able to, to lead, and um, but I, what I mean by that is um, to make um, general members become leaders, um, help them out, and um, 
like when we all say, you know, be a role model because it's definitely true. Um, this should be like something they should look forward, like look up to you. Um, going on top of that, like, um, is this awesome? um, sorry, I'm really nice. um, I think like it's also you have to bring new forth ideas because you just have to expand Kava out and like there's a lot of members in this club and I think we sh we could be so much bigger and uh, within UCI and within like within Irvine in general and within maybe like California. So uh, for me, I think I would um, definitely look into getting like um, scholarships um, for the club, like applying for scholarships because um, I know there's a lot out there and we could gain from that and um, that way our members don't have to constantly like um, fundraise and like do stuff. But um, I think the point of fundraising is not just to alleviate the cause, which is important, but as well um, for our members to grow and um, to just ex experience college, I think. like. And like I said before, be leaders, but also like, um, I know like ACI like do offer scholarships and I know we could, um, like Miguel went up about businesses, I know we can totally um, cooperate with businesses to get more funds. Uh, like I said before, I would definitely tap into the vast, co the vast network that Cabo has, all the alums. I would, as treasurer, um, write out a bunch of letters, um, donate, ask for donations. Um, create a sponsorship package to get the local businesses, try and create more um, professional connections, try and, try and to, to try and um, gain not, not just donations, but maybe a um, better relationship with local businesses. Maybe that will be um, a fundraiser so that all of the members really just need to just go there rather than actually put them to work. Um, also looking out for more resource, resources. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be funds, but just in general, a better relationship with local businesses would be better for college. Okay. Um, well, with Summit, um, I know as a possible board definitely had a lot of ideas and a lot of, they had a vision for Summit. Um, and then on Jedrick and I, on, on the Jedrick, and on, Jed, on my and Jedrick side, um, we just had to handle the logistics and we knew what the funds and we knew our, um, our limitations and we had to keep telling, we had to keep telling as a possible board, no, we can't really do this or we can't really do that. Or we were trying to give them our suggestions, but they weren't really being us halfway about that. So, I mean, overall, the final decision was pretty much a compromise, and that was, um, I felt like it was a pretty diplomatic situation, um, decision overall. I mean, it ended up pretty well. Um, for me, um, I'm part of a Christian ministry, and um, we had to um, put a banquet for our seniors. Um, it turns out a lot of um, the juniors had uh, like a lot of ideas to put in, and they wanted certain things. And um, it felt bad to say we can't have those, but as a leader, you have to be open-minded and you have to be flexible. And with that, like, what I mean is, like, we might not have those things like you want, but like, we could always um, try to do things that are similar and maybe less, um, like, cost costly and um, so cheaper, and just like influence what they want, they want, but in a different way as well. So that way, everybody compromises and it works out. Definitely, like, I think kind of outside the box. I know um, I am the new one to Kaba, and there's a lot of stuff that I might not know, and I know they will bring those ideas forward, and I know they will try to um, improvise with that. And my, I think for me, what I would do is think what I think what I would think about it, in a way, and see how it collides, and try to, like, um, expand those, because, like, I think way different than the current board members, and I think that's a good way, because it would expand out Kaba and um, bring them forth ideas and get more members interested, especially the members who have been here since their freshman year and they feel like things might get repetitive. Um, as for me, I'm more of a logistical and technical person. I understand that a lot of the people, who, a lot of the candidates so far for exec board have really great ideas. They've created new programming. They um, mark over at PCN. And I feel like my personality and the way um, my nature as a board member, I feel like that I've developed, is more of a, a supportive and um, implementation sort of mindset. And I would really like to just be up there and the way I would interact was just really, I would really love to make all their ideas happen. I know funding would definitely limit that, but um, that's definitely the way I would complement those board members, or the exact board. Um, I would definitely like to see more smaller programming happen. I mean, uh, there are a lot of ideas that are thrown at, thrown out at board meetings that are just rejected because we don't have enough funds. 
or um, it's just not the right time because we need money for packing. We can't we can't risk it. Um, but I also understand that packing is one of the biggest things that's ever happened to this, not only Kava, not only to this campus, but California. Uh, I would definitely not want to take away from how legendary Kava was <laughs> a uh, KCN is, but I think there are definitely um, there are definitely better. I'm sure there are definitely better ways to find money for um, KCN. I know we ask a lot from our cast members. And I'm sure there'd be other other things that I, I can do as a treasurer to find more funds rather than put a lot of pressure on the members. Um, for me, I know like um, some of the things do take a lot of money, like PACN and some other stuff, like uh, not as much. So I want to do um, funding throughout the year with certain. It's just small things like that could just be fun, entertaining, because a small amount of money could go a long way. Um, with that, I know Cogito, you get we get a lot of money out of that. But like, I'll, I think we should also sell something else on the side, like something that applies mostly to college students, like something like, because honestly, how many people here have like all these friends in UCI, but you must, they mostly sell a lot of the cookie dough because of their parents. And if we could apply it to like um, the students in general, I think we would make so much money and with that, um, not only pay PACN, but other stuff and activities for the members. I think personally, like maybe do like um, after instead of like an after party, do more of like a fundraising kind of thing because I think it will attract more members and it'll be more um, more effective because they'll be there. Um, not only that, but like I'm looking not only for next year but also for the futures ahead. Cause if we raise more money towards the end of the year, that means we start out with more money, which means we don't have to spend that much time doing what we do now, and it will be more effective. If if you know what I'm saying, like um, with that much money, like. We could do the fundraising that I want to like implement next year, but we don't have to do as much time because I know board members are busy and they have um, their school and other things to apply. But like um, fundraising is definitely a big thing that we should implement in order to give back to our members. Can you, can you repeat the question? Um, pretty much. I definitely understand that Kava has a lot of programming, and it's tough to schedule um, things, especially just between Kava's schedule and our board members' individual schedules. But I'll definitely. Uh, Try and get out there to the members more personally and individually and ask them if they want to help out possibly with fundraising. I mean, they, they're definitely a part of this club. I'm sure they want to take, they want to get involved with helping us further our capabilities by raising funds. Um, also, like I said, my, I would definitely personally take my take initiative in finding other ways outside of the club, outside of campus, to find more resources and money for our clubs. Well, as soon as they're decided, I would meet up with them as often as I can definitely keep up a good relationship with them. Um, try and get them, try and be involved as much in as much of their planning as I can be. I'm not going to plan anything for them, of course, but I would just like to understand their decisions, maybe um, collaborate on a few things. Have, I'm sure they'll have much, many more ideas than I will have just myself, and it would be, it'd be definitely beneficial if we're all on the same page, both boards, because I know there's definitely some disconnect. And it'd be good for both BMC and Calvin Treasury to be on the same page. Again, um, going off of me, also, yeah, I would meet with them as soon as um, they're decided who's going to do it because um, not only to hear what they're saying and be on the same page, but um, to try to help them out, like myself, and um, try to get other people to help them out as well. Like, we could do a lot together. Um, uh, also, like, hear what their ideas have to say because maybe those ideas not only apply to PACN, but throughout just Kava in general. Um, also, like, um, with them working on um, PACN, I know, like, they start kind of a little bit later, but if they start more at the beginning, so, like, maybe I would think of doing activities, like, way before the, they're picked, like, to see, give them some ideas of where they could start. Money from AUCI, definitely, like, what I would go is, like, try to find businesses that could sponsor us. Like, we have um, the film, like, that's helping us out, like, from, um, I think, LA. I think that's correct. Um, sorry, I'm not very um, with that. Uh, but um, just have business that could sponsor us because I know, like, being a huge club, we could definitely like um, come out to the community. And I think like through businesses see that and like um, we have money for them, and we could use their money as well. Um, but like as well as um, planning just things like for fundraising, I think that's the biggest for me personally because I think the members learned a lot and um, we we make a small profit, but. I think it's more about the um, growing for the members. Uh, if we didn't receive any funding from AS, I would definitely contact as many Kava alums, Kava connections, 
um, any sort of call relationships that are built over the recent years, anything that's still good, any close ties, and ask them for donations. Ask them for ask them if they can help out in any way because our Kaba, our culture night is in, is in um, or is in definite is in desperate need, needs of funds. But also, um, it'd be it'd be a it'd be a joint um, decision between pack and board and Kaba board. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be at the brand. Doesn't necessarily have to cost that much that year. I'm just saying, I mean, it's definitely possible that if we definitely had like a thousand dollars in our account left, then we're obviously not going to have the rent. So.